I couldn't get from the chair to the door without being completely winded. My dad has always pushed me to be athletic, to work hard, basically to be the best that I could be all while working six to seven days a week for literally the entire 27 years that I've been alive. Now, I always remember him being overweight and not having enough time to exercise because he literally works so much. A few years back, he started changing his habits and it started with bicycling and more recently, about six to eight months ago, to my surprise, he decided on his own to go vegan. He's lost weight from this and some other changes that he's made, and I think his story is really inspiring for not only people his age, but for people everywhere. So today, I want to share a look into my dad's journey. First, I'm watching you, realizing it's probably a good thing. But then I watched the Netflix Game Changers. And within that movie, the centrifuge test was significant for me. Whenever they spun the, the guy's blood and he was eating, uh, he ate a ham sandwich and all that stuff, and there was a layer of fat that was in the blood. As a mechanic, if you have a lot of dirt in the oil, the oil is gonna have troubles getting all the dirt to the oil filter. Same thing with your blood. Mechanically, the more stuff you put in your blood, it's gonna be harder to get that stuff to the filters to process it out. So if you just don't put that stuff in the blood, it's gonna be better for you. First month was uh, pretty easy actually. Thing is, is I ate two pieces of chicken a night and a turkey patty for uh, lunch. And then there was a lot of butter. I'm a butter freak. But then there's replacements for all this stuff. So the first month was really quite easy. And, and you can actually eat very poorly as a vegan nowadays. You can get the Ben and Jerry's ice cream that tastes just like ice cream. You can go down and get vegan donuts. You can eat poorly. So it's not like you're having to give up a whole lot, but I'm trying not to eat that way. Sometimes I'll have that, but some, most of the time I don't. I get up in the morning, I eat, or I put probably 10 carrots, another 10 celery sticks, and I don't know how to judge the volume of spinach. It fills up the chute and the juicer twice, um, and three beets, and that's what I do first immediately when I get out of bed, and it's uh, about 30, two ounces of vegetable juice. I've been juicing for, for 30 years, five days a week, every, every week, always. But I started doing the juice because I had pneumonia, hospitalized pneumonia. I couldn't get from the chair to the door. They kept changing the medicines. They kept giving me this, they kept giving me that. And then it would start coming back. So I asked your mother to go over to Target and get a juicer, stop by Vaughn's and buy a bunch of deep green veggies. And I started juicing and I started improving. And so from that moment on, I just never stopped. My cholesterol is 120. All the things that a person who is 300 now, now I'm 295. But most of this time of the 20 years, uh, I was 300 and 50 plus and I'd go to the doctor and they would always be going oh, well, no we got to redo this test this no 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 oh, no we got to redo this this can't be right and another doctor said well of course you're you turn your body into an alkaline state by doing all these all this vegetable juice so that's why he thinks that my all that's all my uh, vitals are, are right I get up at 3.30, do the juice, come down here, do my books, then people start dropping their cars off, and then the day starts, we start working on cars. Um, then I usually have a, uh, I'll either have a piece of Ezekiel bread with uh, peanut butter on it, or most of the time now I'm doing uh, 
the shake with a scoop of protein powder, fruit, some peanut butter powder, and uh, ripple. It's a replacement milk stuff, and it turns into a nice thick shake. It's almost like eating a soft serve. milkshake for breakfast. Very good one. And then for lunch it's a Beyond Burger with uh, ketchup, mustard, lettuce on an Ezekiel bread which is a sprouted wheat bread. It's uh, really really full of fiber. And then, and then for dinner I eat the BTW hash. The BTW hash would be the uh, rice, pinto beans, one cup of each, and then up one pepper and uh, three or four mushrooms with uh, tahini sauce, and uh, then I eat some strawberries. And if I'm really stressed, I may eat something else before I go to bed, but I, I try, it, it still is, whatever I'm eating is still vegan. There's the group who basically won't even talk to you about it. They just blow it off. Uh, that's that's a weird group because it's what I've chosen to do and I'm not telling them they need to do it. I had a young man in here and he's talking about something. We got we got going about something on politics. And I don't know why it was relevant, but I said, well, yeah, I'm vegan. And he says, yeah, yeah, that's what they'd all say. And I, I said, no, 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 I'm vegan. Yeah, yeah, they, they'd all say that. No, dude, wait, I am personally, I am vegan. And he stops and he looks at you know, a 295 pound old fart normally isn't vegan. So it's actually kind of fun. I'm watching what you're doing. I'm seeing your videos and I'm sitting there for what, it's been about four or five years. Yeah, I should try that, I should try that. And then after I tried it, it's like, oh, this ain't, this isn't hard. But I tell you what, how I'm feeling and boom, you look at what I did and say, oh, that's why. I worry about people who are trying to do it. I worry about them not being able to do it because they can't just call up their son and say, what should I do about this? Because I don't know where they would go. Now they could log on to your, your channel, but uh, if they don't know me, they wouldn't know to go to you. Uh, the B12, I think was the most important. Then the Omega-3 was the second most important. And then the alteration of protein. You gotta get some guidance. You gotta have a plan. I first started getting real serious about doing it every single day. I was having to stop going up uh, Windmill View Hill. That's not a big hill. You know, a normal biker guy would say, oh, well, there's not much hill. Well, you know, I had to stop uh, three times going up that hill to catch my breath from seeing stars. And now, I just recently had to expand my route out to go seven miles. And I'm having to go back through certain parts of the neighborhood twice to keep my ride at 45 minutes, where in the beginning it was two and a half miles and it took 45 minutes. I try and make my ride so I'm going uphill because our neighborhood is lots of hills. And so I minimize the downhill as much as I can and maximize the uphill as much as I can. Okay, I started at 385 pounds. I might have been 390 because when I start doing something, normally the first thing I do is not step on the scale. I'm going, oh my gosh, I need to do something. And the advice that I would say is, well, there, it, there's another thing that, that you have to remember in, and that is, is that exercise is exercise. Dieting is dieting. The two do not have to be together. You can be overweight, you can eat poorly, and still put in a half an hour a day of aerobic exercise. Now once you start doing the aerobic exercise consistently, it may make you change 
how you eat, especially will make you change when you eat. Because you're not probably gonna eat a bag of chips and a big gulp on your way home just before you get out of the car to walk around the block. But I've had several older people who I've said, when you get home, don't walk in the house. Walk, to, walk around the block. Well, I can't make it around the block. Well, walk down the street as far as you feel comfortable and come back. And the one guy that I'm thinking about, about six months later, he came in and says, you know, I'm walking around the block now twice. And he says, I am feeling better and I've taken off 40 pounds. I still need to lose another 50 pounds. I am not gonna stress over that. So the advice I would say is, is don't view the whole thing as something that has to happen in six months like you see on uh, Biggest Loser. They see that and it's like, you gotta go down there, you gotta spend, uh, you know, five hours in the gym flipping ropes and doing all this stuff that uh, the flipping ropes thing for me I, I, I watch that and I just go oh my god that looks miserable for some reason that rope flipping thing just it just ooh, I hate that but if you just want to start feeling better half an hour of aerobic exercise to your level then your level will change and then make small alterations in your diet. Look at it as a process. It's gonna be for the rest of your life. And you're not gonna to have to eliminate everything. If you like ice cream, you can have ice cream every once in a while. Just fit it into the bigger picture. Thanksgiving dinner last, this, this last Thanksgiving dinner, it was an interesting thing that I noticed. Um, I ate way too much, because you made the ribs the seitan ribs and we had uh, macaroni and cheese we had all these things and I went ahead and I ate till I was way over full it was interesting that there, there was some vegan ice cream well after we ate I was way too full to have anything else so we sat down and, and we watched some uh, a, a Christmas movie and by the time they we finished at the Christmas movie, I was no longer stuffed. I felt good. And now it was time to eat some of that vegan ice cream. And the next morning when I got up, I felt normal. When, you, when I eat incorrectly, it seems like within an hour or so, everything's processed and it's, it's over. You know, the energy level is, is significantly better. I need my knee replaced. So therefore, I'm not, I'm not getting out there and, going places, but I feel like it. I see no need to change. Honestly, I thought that I was gonna see that commercial for Omaha Beef, and I was gonna be sitting there drooling and licking the TV screen for that Le Mignon. I, I don't care. I really don't care about the steaks. I see, I just, I'm not seeing any need to change.